everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Christy here to do the love and romance reading for the sign of Gemini. This is for the month of January, 2019. I hope that you enjoyed your love and romance reading for your sign for December, 2018. Thank you for joining me and welcome back to my regular viewers. Love, romance, and creativity for Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising signs, January, 2019. Messages for Gemini. Love, romance, and creativity. We're looking at a nine card reading today. The left column will represent you. The right column will represent your partner, desired partner, or artistic outcomes. And the center column will talk about what's going on between both those energies. Love and romance for Gemini. Right, so straight off the bat, what I'm seeing, I always, I mean, it's hard not to. Uh, we're just looking at outcome cards here. New opportunity for your partner or a creative venture. And then, a, you know, doing it through an intuition or a sense of, you know, romanticism, a sense of, you know, loving nurturing and just real legitimate sensitivity here is uh, being asked of you. Or I think that you will be more likely to achieve desired outcomes if you come at this uh, under this umbrella love romance creativity from that angle intuitive compassion you know romantic willing to share loving and sweet messages with yourself or another and then they have uh, an opportunity to become very exciting this is a really exciting card new opportunity new behavior new activity um some endings some beginnings here you know big time for you i think that they have a, they're going to have a choice to make or they have a second chance um you can really get through something with someone else right now i think if you just stay positive and try to avoid overt control over someone else or a situation and just grasp what is going on with you, uh, particularly here, Gemini, because something is going to be a little bit upset here. Something's going to be confusing or removed from the environment that perhaps you weren't expecting or anticipating, but it, the point of it being removed is to serve you. It's to gain higher ground. So let's look at why I would be saying that. In the position representing the current state is an entrepreneurial spirit. This is a real go-getter. The Queen of Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I mean, it's just someone who can't be held back, can't be held down. Anyone with this energy um, who is told you can't do this is going to do it twice. Um, this is just really independent, strong, entrepreneurial, starlight, sunshine, spotlight, a very strong ego, like a very healthy ego. Um, but again, entrepreneurial. So just uh, for, with regard to the context of relationships, love, creativity, um, well, this current state is very energetic. There's a lot of really exciting energy, which is the current state of the issue. The partner's current position or your creative output is truth. This uh, truth is necessary right now. This could be being withheld from you. Um, partner's current position, their personal truth is necessary. Uh, I, I think for some of you right now, there could be a push or a, um, even a, you know, a fight or um, effort around gaining information here. I think you want this, your partner's personal truth. You need to know something here. Something needs to be brought to light to, in order to make sense for you to move forward here. Um, so this is necessary right now, again, and, and like I, I said, right before going into each position, I said, you know, the purpose for you personally, even within a relationship, partnership, desired or realized or creative endeavor is to control yourself and to, you know, um, take yourself to task. You don't want to try to control an outcome, an event, or another person. They need to come to you. I think your job really this month, Gemini, uh, in this context is to just be available. Be available. Be that person, for example, that they can come to, okay, with their truth, 
right? You don't want to put your foot down. You, you don't want to make it harder for them or, 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 you know, create conditions, right? You do you and then let them come to you and they will. Here we have a really nice equilibrium, the six of pentacles. The nature of your issue is balance. This could have to do, I mean, this is, in my view, this is the minor arcana of the justice card. This could be a legal matter. There could be a minor, uh, mm, equilibrium going on within that larger context or it could just be a strict equilibrium give and take someone needs to give and take there needs to be a back and forth here in order for there to be equilibrium here are your desires your something needs to fall apart your this falls in the position of your desire so i don't know if necessarily you you know unless you want to break up then you do you <laughs> but you know if you want to see this come to fruition or you want this to last or you want to follow through with you know a creative venture here I think you need to let go of something that isn't serving you anymore but your desire is it's drawing that in you desire for something to finally fall apart or come to an end or a revelation this is a really revolutionary card uh, your desire is for a revolution here Gemini now, what, you know, around what? A love, romance, or creative adventure, uh, a revolution. It needs to, you know, something needs to fall apart or crumble, but it's not just like, oh, that's a drag. It's because of new insight. This is a very, this is a, this is a highly knowledgeable card. You know, in terms of occult energy, I would say that this is, you know, self-mastery through disaster okay it's almost like you, there's no book you can read there's no guru who's going to help you through this you just need to experience whatever that loss or disruption is and then you're like aha i get it now and then it will help lead to a completion so it, and it is your desire so it's not going to be like wholly upsetting here it's just going to be something that's necessary for you to move forward and your partner's desires is the Six of Swords. This is moving away from something that was troubling, but taking the lessons with you. So I think you're both on the same page here. You're willing to walk away from something that isn't working anymore, but not being stupid about it and moving forward, making the same mistakes. You're going to say that, aha, I get it now, and then move forward accordingly. Could also be travel here as well. Here's where we're looking at beginnings and, uh, sorry, specifically endings here. Your challenge is to let go of something. Yeah, 100%. In order to move into the future for a new path or for a new um, phase of the relationship or creative output, I mean, you, you really have to put that to rest. You really have to sort of lovingly let go of what it is you had, you know, maybe your heart set on or what you thought you had control over or um, what you thought was working and it was sort of brought to your attention that that isn't actually working for you anymore. You can let that go and it's positive to walk away from that. So a chapter needs to be closed here. Um, lots of really fixed energy here, the fixed energy uh, around the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, something that will permanently come to a close here. The next chapter begins and you can walk away from. So let go lovingly of something here that doesn't serve you anymore, something that fell apart. Here in your partner's challenge is a second chance. Yeah, I mean, I really do feel like you're going to be able to walk forward really fruitfully with one another. I really see this uh, specifically because you have an open art here. You know, keep those channels of uh, emotional availability open so they can come to you with their truth and then they're going to feel like they have a new opportunity or um, they're going to act here with integrity because an opportunity has been given to them. Um, so really, really nice outcomes for you. I don't see anything terribly troubling here. Walking away from something that just isn't working for you anymore is really essential, Gemini. And it'll be, it'll be made really obvious to you. Um, because it'll be that aha moment. So yeah, nothing troubling, nothing difficult here for you. Uh, I think you have a really nice basic foundation here with the Queen of Fire, sort of the overall, you know, the current state of the relationship or creative endeavor as it is it's still, it's still pretty exciting right no one's really worried or upset or anything but a truth really does need to be told like your partner's truth or your creative truth uh needs to be told but you 
there's no forcing that. You simply need to make yourself available to that. Okay, so no forcing. <laughs> New life. Yeah, absolutely. You can come out the other side of something difficult for you here. The Wheel of Fortune is literally leaving an old chapter behind and beginning a new. Uh, this is really nice to see here as well. I consider this the Easter card. There, there could be a possibility for new beginnings as well. Um, if you're wanting to become pregnant, it might be a nice time to uh, play around with that concept with a partner or love affair. If you're trying to avoid pregnancy, maybe take precaution around that as well. But a new life, something that's really exciting, a new beginning for you and a partner. And then this gorgeous trust card, the situation is calling for you to have faith. And again, I think the wisest and perhaps kindest way to do that for yourself at this time is to strictly move yourself forward. I know you're in a relationship and I know this is regarding a love or creative endeavor or romantic endeavor. Uh, but it's essential that you move yourself forward and let the other person come to you and talk to you. Your job is to make yourself available. There is no forcing this. In fact, this this is what could be your aha moment here. Like, oh my God, I've been forcing this. No wonder they don't feel like they can talk to me or no wonder, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, let it go, control yourself. And I think things will flow really nice and evenly and, and with a healthy equilibrium for you. So Gemini, that is your love, romance, and creativity reading for January 2019. Happy New Year, everybody. Look forward to seeing you in your next videos. And until then, take excellent care. Bye for now.